Yeah, you got this 2010 or 11 uh, Taurus SHO show. It's got the V6 EcoBoost in it. Picked it up. My buddy picked it up in an auction, and it's got a boo boo over here on this side. And the uh, ball joint is disconnected from the wheel. So I'm gonna have to fix it while it's up on the jet, up on the trailer still, just to get it off the trailer. So uh, anyway, we'll pull this wheel off, take a look at it, see what kind of damage we got. All right, so here's the carnage. We got an axle popped out, and ball joints popped completely out. Uh, so it looks like lower control arm, ball joint, axle, and probably strut. I'm not sure if the spindle assembly is messed up. What I'll do right now is probably pull the brakes off and this rotor and look behind here and see if I can see anything. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good carnage. The wheel's all the way back to here. I had to put a strap around this to the strut to pull it forward to get the wheel out. But honestly, uh, everything else looks pretty decent in here. The frame looks okay and all that. So I might get lucky. It's just a few parts here in the suspension. All right, you got two 17s for the caliper. I went ahead and hung that off to the side here. Usually I hang them on the spring on the strut, but we might be taking the strut off. So I hung that off to the side. And then you got two uh, 18 mil bolts for your caliper bracket, which is right here. Now we're down to this uh, rotor. Go ahead and take this off. And then I'm gonna pull this axle out. You can see the axle is already pulled away from the, the uh, inner shaft or the inner uh, CV. So just going to take this nut out and then we'll drop the axle out, get this rotor out, kind of see what's going on behind here. All right, so use a T4 you get this off for the uh, rotor. Usually it'll be kind of stuck on there a little bit. I just take a rubber mallet and just smack it one time and uh, it'll pop right out usually. You don't want to damage the uh, rotor, so use a rubber mallet. And now we're just going to take out uh, this uh, axle nut, which is a 32 mil. And then this axle should slide out. And I've been looking at this uh, spindle here. It looks like it's in pretty good shape still. So uh, I think we're okay on this. Uh, the straw, I'm not sure yet. I still got to look at that pretty close. And then, uh, anyway, axle, lower control arm. But we'll get one step at a time. Let's get this axle out and uh, take a closer look at stuff from there. All right, so 32 millimeter nuts out. Now the axle's out. You can see here this side uh, came apart from the CV. Um, you could probably reuse it, but we're not going to. We already got an axle for it. Uh, and like I said earlier, I think this I think this uh, hub and this uh, uh, spindle are okay. So what I'm going to do is drop it off of the strut anyway. Get the speed sensor loose. Drop this off the strut just so I can see better. And we already got a lower control arm for it, so we're going to change that out. And... Uh, like I said, take a closer look at this strut, and if we have to change that, we will, and then we'll start putting this thing back together. Of course, I have to get this end out for the axle, which shouldn't be too bad, uh, and then we'll go from there. So I think next thing I'm going to do is take the speed sensor out and then drop this off, so I just so I can see the lower control arm a little bit better. Well, I was have to, the piece that broke off on the ball joint on this. Well, I just have to come out. Um, I'll just do that after I get this down on the ground. All right, 21 millimeter. We got this tie rod out. Uh, tie rod looks a little suspect. A little suspect. I don't know. We might have to change that out real quick. So, anyway, we'll get the get this uh, sway link off. This strut. We don't need to do that now. But uh, main thing is to get this uh, speed sensor out. And then I'm going to pull, like, like I said before, we're going to pull this whole thing off. So I'm going to get this little speed sensor. It looks like an 8 mil. We'll uh, jack that out of there. And then uh, I'll go ahead and take this bolt off for the strut. And we'll drop this assembly out of there. Leave the strut up there for now. <clears throat> All right, 8 mil speed sensor's off. So we'll turn this around, try to turn this over. And uh, get to that big nut over here. And then this thing should drop out. All right, so I got this out. There's a couple of little scratches on this. But I don't see any cracks. This is aluminum. I don't see any cracks. I think the ball joint took the brunt of uh, this impact. So we'll obviously have to take this out. 
uh, ball joint nut and get that out of there. And then I think the rest of this is okay. I'll, I'll look it over real good, make sure there's no cracks or anything, but uh, this appears to be still in pretty good shape. We're down to the lower control arm and the strut. The strut's definitely, uh, I think the strut is definitely tweaked. So we're going to replace that. It almost looks like it comes down and then bends out like this. And uh, so anyway, I think next what we'll do is drop this lower control arm out. We have a new one for that. It's got a ball joint with it. And we'll get that other axle out, other piece of axle out, get the sway link off, and uh, drop the strut out, and uh, go from there. Actually, I might drop the strut out now, just get it out of the way, and then uh, we'll go for that lower control arm next. Uh, 15 millimeter nuts to get the strut off. You can see here, it is bent, and it's bent up here too. The shaft is bent, the entire strut cartridge. So uh, this thing's definitely wasted. So now we're down to this. We're going to do the control arm and get that axle shaft, that other half shaft out. And then uh, put the new control arm on. Alright, so this is very unfortunate. I pulled the axle out and this is what I found. This bracket bolts to the block. And you can see uh, this is a piece of the block. If I can get you up there. Uh, right there. The block is broke off in two different places. So that's not good. I don't know. This is supposed to uh, go up there like this. And you can see there should be three bolts holding this in, I guess. And the block is completely ripped away from that. So all three bosses are destroyed. To put this put this axle back in all right so it's been about a week later since uh the last clip you just saw on this four taurus sho that we got from coparts uh the magic of uh, videos we could stop it so anyway we went and took it to uh get it welded that bracket back on um you can see there it's welded back on a lot of shot, a lot of welding places want us to pull the engine out to do that, and it didn't seem very feasible uh, to pull the engine out just to weld the bracket back on. I mean, I understand there's a fire risk and all that, but uh, I mean, the bottom line is you're not going to pull an engine out, take that bracket. If you're going to pull, you know, so anyway, that was what we did. Uh, looks like it's a pretty solid job. So now we'll get back to putting this uh, thing back together. So I think what I'm going to do next is go ahead and take this uh, lower control arm off and uh, we'll get the new one on and then we'll put the axle back in and start putting this thing back together and getting it off the trailer. It's actually been, uh, we had a tr <clears throat> my buddy trailer to two or three different places, try to get it welded and everyone kept saying, pull the engine, pull the engine. And, uh, you know, we're not going to do that just to get something welded back on the car, especially, uh, that's, you know, a decent amount of access there. So there's really no reason to to do that um i don't know i guess some of these welders don't want to make money but uh anyway we found one that did and he did it and it's a pretty good fix i think uh should be a nice solid fix it's better than changing the engine out or uh any other alternative that we would have had so uh, let's get to work on getting this control arm off and we'll go from all right so i got the lower control arm off uh there's an 18 mil bolt that goes up under the frame here you got to get your ratchet inside here and it goes through this way and then you got two uh, 15 on one side and 18 on the other side uh, nut bolt uh, combination there's two of them back here on the frame pull those two bolts out and then this thing should come out with a little bit of finagling uh, luckily the frames not bent in any way on this car with that impact that it had that's definitely a possibility but everything looks pretty straight and square on this, so we got lucky on that. Um, so yeah, we'll just gonna, you know, this one's got uh, ball joint and everything's completely screwed on this one. Uh, this is probably bent. I had, I don't really know for sure. I haven't I haven't uh, put up next to the new one to see, but I'm I'm sure it is. It's got marks from the insurance saying it was bent. So uh, anyway, we'll get the new one up in, in here. Anyway, we'll get the new one up in here and uh, start bolting it back together. 
All right, so I got the new control arm back in there. Uh, basically, just put the one bolt through, 18 mil, and your two over here, and uh, just line up with the holes and start them, and then tighten them down. So I'm gonna go get the steering knuckle and the axle, and we'll put the half shaft in uh, to this bracket and get our knuckle and all that good stuff out here, and uh, start rocking and rolling, getting this thing back together. All right, so you just slide this uh, shaft in and put the two bolts in the bracket. And uh, if you're just doing the axle, you don't have to take this out, actually. You can leave this in, separate it from here. But since we had that broken bracket and all that carnage, uh, we had to take this out. So anyway, these are two 13-millimeter bolts. They bolted that bracket. That's back in. Now we can uh, get our steering knuckle and our strut. I think what I'm going to do next is uh, hang the strut from the top kind of get that in place and then we'll bring that steering knuckle and, and uh, the uh, axle in and uh, start buttoning up the rest of this. So I think next we'll get the strut out, hang that down and then we'll get closer to uh, getting this thing back on the off the trailer at least. Alright so I got the uh, axle just kind of hung up, or not the axle, the strut just kind of hung up there. Now I'm going to uh, put it in the half shaft and then we'll get the steering knuckle up there and uh, get it lined up with the uh, strut here and start putting this back together all right so we got the strut in uh, like, like I said before put the knuckle on uh, put the axle in what I did was uh, hook the knuckle to the strut first put the bolt through uh, 21 mil and then the other side holds it on so it's got a little uh, retainer and I bolted this in first then I slid the axle in uh, torque down the axle and then if you have your uh, your uh, sway bar link disconnected you can pull this uh, lower controlled arm down pretty far and get your ball joint started and that's that's a 21 millimeter bolt there and I guided that back into here so that's all uh, bolted up put the tie rod in again that's uh, that's 21 mil and then you may have to jack your lower control arm up a little bit to uh, to get to get your sway bar lane to reach, which I did on this. Uh, so anyway, you know, you just put it through the hole and get the nut tight. Now we had a hard time finding this axle. Of course, this axle was destroyed from the accident. And what we found out is uh, Ford changed the axle on the 2010 show. So uh, they changed the bracket to the block, the bolts. The inner and outer axle whole deal so uh, you may if you have the original axle you may have to uh, switch over to the new stuff what we end up doing because we we well we had had that bracket welded to the block we ended up having this axle rebuilt by a local place here in st louis that rebuilds them that way we didn't switch switch over because there's no way we could switch over with this engine uh, with that with that bracket being welded to the block so now it's just a matter of uh, putting the brakes back on and uh, then we'll try to get it off the uh, jacks here and get it off the trailer and see what happens. All right, so we got the wheel back on. It's uh, real centered into the frame. Uh, like I said, the frame wasn't been on this car, so um, you know there should be no issues there. Everything's lined back up the way it's supposed to, and everything looks real good on it. Uh, I don't know. This video is probably a little bit discombobulated because. Uh, you know, in the video we can't show, or I didn't show, us running around looking for the axle. We got two different axles that were wrong, and then we finally had it rebuilt. And it took uh, three or four days to have that done. And So I've had the car actually two or three weeks just waiting for parts, trying to get that welded, all that good stuff. Uh, but hopefully if you're changing an axle or a control arm or a strut or something, you might get something out of this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And we'll, uh, I think I'm going to get this thing off the trailer and take it for a test drive and uh, kick it back to its owner and move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.